Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the edit place and normally I'm not at this desk. I'm at my other desk actually showing you editing stuff, but this video is more of just a conversational type of thing because there's nothing to test just yet, but it potentially could be really exciting news. Try not to get my hopes too high. Let's talk about it. So I got an email today from Color Finale, and this is just like a public email, not like any sort of insider information. So if you're on their email list, odds are you probably got the same thing. I'm just gonna read you the subject of the email. Finally, Blackmagic Raw and more in Final Cut Pro. I have never opened an email so fast. If you're a fan of odds are this channel, but definitely my main channel, you know that I am a Blackmagic fanatic. Got 6K Pro here, shooting on another 6K, uh, 4Ks over there. I like Blackmagic cameras. And I used to be a full-time Final Cut Pro user, and I still use it from time to time when adding text and graphics just because the plugins are so good. But like two years ago or so, I switched to DaVinci Resolve full-time just because at that time it was the only native importer of B-Raw, and it just made the workflow a lot easier. Premiere Pro now has it, but Premiere Pro, no thanks. And so here's the thing, it's not even a Blackmagic thing. A lot of people like to blame Blackmagic, but Blackmagic how many times did I just say black magic there? So they've pretty much made the B-RAW format open source or at least able to be licensed by anyone. This is why anyone who knows how to code can make some sort of B-RAW friendly software. And so it's Apple who likes to take their sweet old time with updates. If you're just a general consumer, never mind video editor, you think Apple takes a long time to do anything or is nitpicky about anything, Final Cut is a whole new world. They come out with like supplemental updates when they come out with new computers to support it. Every once in a while, a little optimization update here and there, but maybe we're lucky like two or three times a year to get a little, little itty bitty update from Final Cut. And it's more like every four years or something that we'll see either a huge revamp or some sort of big new feature that they wanna boast about for the next four years. And so even before B-RAW, when I was shooting on the Blackmagic production 4K, which shot in raw DNG, that couldn't be natively imported into Final Cut. And that codec's been around a long time. And so myself, and I'm sure if you're watching this video and plenty of other people have been waiting literally so many years for someone to support other formats in Final Cut Pro. And so yeah, I completely opened this email super fast and I'll leave the video linked down below that's at the top of the email. That's just on Color Finale's YouTube channel, and it's basically just like a 30 second promo. It doesn't really show or tell you a whole lot here, but I'll show on the screen and just read this email really quick. A new extension to import raw camera formats, B-RAW, RE-RAW, Cinema DNG directly into Final Cut Pro. Exciting. Having to transcode your media first adds an extra and often time consuming stage to your workflow. If you have no idea what transcoding is, that is basically if I want to edit in Final Cut Pro with what I shoot on this camera, basically I can shoot in ProRes, sure, but I can shoot in Blackmagic RAW, put it into like DaVinci, uh, make all the random RAW settings I wanna change, add a LUT, color grade, whatever I wanna do, and then basically export it into a format that is uh, Final Cut friendly, something like ProRes. I'm sure you can understand how time consuming uh, that is, not to mention the round tripping that usually happens because color grading is like the last thing you should do. And so when I used to have to color grade first and then transcode, then pull it into Final Cut, if I wanted to make, or if my clients wanted to make any sort of change to the look of a clip, I then had to go back to DaVinci, start all over and then basically replace the clip in the edit in Final Cut. Super, super annoying. Using the new Color Finale Transcoder extension is easy. It gives you an instant preview of your ingested video, plus a full range of camera settings adjustments directly within the import interface. You can load multiple clips at once and choose the destination SDR or HDR color space. Uh, save 25% off, you can pre-order it now, I think it's like 45 bucks or something, and then you can participate in the beta program. I clicked this and signed up for it when first. I don't know if I'm like waiting to hear back or just wasn't chosen, but now if you go and click on that button, it says the beta window is closed. So if you go on the comment section of their YouTube video, you're gonna see like this little bit of argument going on 
of some people saying, oh, this is just a little bit easier step because you just transcode in Final Cut, but you can't actually work natively in the timeline. The best example of what we're all hoping for in the best case scenario, which again, odds are isn't gonna happen based on the fact that it's called the color finale transcoder is basically what red did. So red raw, red footage is not natively supported inside of Final Cut Pro, but red basically made a plugin that you install. And now when you go to import red footage into Final Cut, you can edit it natively. You get all your raw settings. You can color grade, change everything you want, just like any other editor out there. What this looks like, in my opinion, without knowing anything, is that it is going to be an extension that when I open up Final Cut, I can go to import footage. I can launch this extension and then see my B raw footage. It's going to pop up probably in some preview pane and see all my clips. I'm going to be able to you know, preview them, scrub through them, maybe click the ones I want to import. And then it's going to give me some raw control. So I'll probably be able to adjust exposure, tint, uh, ISO, all the basic camera raw settings that you can in DaVinci or Premiere. And then I'll be able to hit import and it's going to create probably a ProRes file or proxy file of some sort, and then import those transcoded clips into Final Cut. So yes, that is going to save some time because you're not dealing with multiple programs and it's going to import the transcoded files directly into whatever project you want to set up. But most likely it is not going to be something where when you're doing your actual edit, you are working with native B-RAW clips that you can always go in and change all the settings to. Once you transcode it, that is going to be the settings that you have. Again, maybe that works into your workflow. So I'm not saying this is like a bad idea or a bad piece of software. Again, for 45 bucks, if this is the way that your workflow usually goes, maybe you're a content creator or documentary person where you shoot in B-RAW for the, the sake of safety that RAW gives you so you can change your settings later in post, but you're not really looking to heavy color grade anything. You just need to make some fine adjustments to all of your clips and be done. Then something like this could be really useful, I think. In the email, it looks like the launch is going to be April 17th. So we'll see about halfway through this month what the final product actually looks like. And definitely get subscribed because once it does come out, I'm definitely going to take a look and show you guys if it's worth the money, what it actually does and the pros and cons of it. But for now, leave a comment down below with what your prediction is. Do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? Do you have insider information? Feel free, let's have some conversations down there. And if you're generally interested in black magic stuff, I'm gonna be doing a huge in-depth review on this coming to you next week um, over on my main channel. So that's gonna be linked down in the description down below. So if you're not already subscribed over there, I'd really appreciate it if you just click the red button on both of these channels. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.